Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Lamria. Welcome to the Adventures of Sarah the Slayer. The awesome and amazing Slayer. We got her the guard's armor for now. Uh, he does look pretty good. It looks... Not the best. Not, you know, doesn't scream out Slayer. You know, defeat all wraiths and vampires and other monster stuff. Anyway, gonna just, you know, let it be. Let bygones be bygones. Let it be as it is. Uh, hello guards. How's it going? Hello. Hello. Hi. You guys are really far away from the Imperial City, aren't you? Although I do like your belts. They look really cool there. Especially the, I guess the dragon symbol on the belt. That looks really awesome as well. You guys give me like a stink eye. You give me Sarah a stink eye. Let's, let's not do that, okay? Um. Alright, well, first of all, before we do anything, we should probably think about the best way to transport. Actually, first, where we should even go? Where should we head over to? Um, Quest-wise, let's see what kind of quest we got. Seek your roots. We don't really, I don't really want to do that. And after another, we could try to see if the Dark Brotherhood could accept us. Where spirits have lease? I met Vermin Benarus. He has a manor house. Nobody already did that. Deliver the amulet. The next place we can, we have to go to to get more jobs is, I believe, yeah, Chain Hall. Now getting to Chain Hall without you know fast travel is going to be. Pretty difficult. I want to see if maybe you can have, you know, a good fun time actually exploring the entire area and, you know, just, I don't know, just have fun with it. We discovered the Fort Strand, and honestly, there are a lot of places here to discover just in general. So, what we can do is actually just travel down the road and then see what we can get there. We can try to get to Kavach, and, I mean, everybody knows what's going on with Kavach. We could deal with that spiel, you know, just kind of, you know, start getting out of the way, or just, you know, skip it. You know, just leave it all for another time for sure, because, I mean, we don't have to do, the best part is, we don't have to do the main quest. That's the best part. We make our own story. We're not, you know, we're not the prisoner of Imperial City. We don't have to, we don't owe an emperor anything. We just, you know, we do our thing. We do our own thing. If we want to explore Valen, Valenwood, if there are mods for it, we will. If, if there's mods for elsewhere, we'll explore it as well. I kind of find it funny that elsewhere, just elsewhere. <laughs> Black Marshes, that'd be kind of cool to explore. I wonder how many areas actually have, like, extra... DLC kind of thing where maybe we could explore Hammerfell stuff like that. That'd be really cool to explore these kind of places. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and inquire to the man that has all the horses about the horses and see how much they cost. Hello there, are you the horse master person? If you're looking to buy a horse, go inside and talk to Kleesa. Kleesa, all right, gotcha. Go bother someone else. Nobody likes Sarah. Sarah is just the outcast. You could, everybody can tell that she has some kind of, you know, evil intent. It's honestly because her personality Hi. is drained. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the Horse Whisperer. Are you interested in a horse? Yes, I am. Uh, Leia, let's inquire about buying a horse. We have the finest white horses in Cyrodiil. None are hardier, and only the black horses of Chaden Hall are faster. Mm-hmm. Um. 4,000 gold? That is too much for me. Then you should start saving for it right now. I guess we should. I guess we really should. Farewell. Farewell to you too. Well, we're not getting a horse unless we steal from somebody. That's the only time we'd be able to ever have a horse. Alright. Well, what do we gotta go to? We gotta go to Imperial City, Skingrad, Kavach, or Anvil. Well, Kavach is this way, so I guess we'll just head over this way and... See where the world will take us. See where the great perilous journey, you know, will make us go. Explore the world. You know, finally dive into, I don't know, the adventure that is ob Oblivion. Elder Scrolls Oblivion. What is that over there? It looks like either a dead creature or maybe a dead person. I can't tell. Hello? Oh, that's a, oh, they're just a wolf. Somebody slaying a wolf and didn't even take a pelt. Sarah will take it, gladly. <laughs> that, then we can sell something like that to a merchant or something. Why is it dropping frames like crazy over here? It's probably trying to load out the, um, like all the areas that are going to be up ahead. And, oh, is there some, actually something going on here? Looks like a bunch of travelers are traveling together. Uh, two guards on horseback. There's somebody else also riding one on a horse. And, uh, hello. A bunch of travelers. Good morning. Imperial soldier. Good hunting. An assassin, I think. Wow, this, wow, they, what is, oh my lord, what is going on here? This is a hold up, hand it over or die. <laughs> um, no? We can play it that way if you like. You can't even see anything, are you kidding me? Can't do anything, sir. 
Come on, what are you gonna do, huh? No, I'm not gonna die. How about we don't die? Oh, people are protecting me. Look at that, this is civil justice at its finest. Civil justice at its finest. Everybody is armed and dangerous on the roads. <laughs> not even a high man can do anything. This, oh, this thing just broke. Um, you could probably, honestly, just salvage the curious and the war axe from this guy. We could sell that in the future. And the guard simply went over to check it out. What happened over here? What happened to this girl? This oh, it's another bandit. Iron arrows. Base ammo of illusion. I'll take it. Why not? Uh, the ring we can sell, and then weak potion of healing sorcery we can take as well. Everybody is just geared out out here. With so many adventures all over the place. This the roads feel alive. They really do. What do we got here? Ultra. Oh ho 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 ho! We could sell all that stuff for so much, so, for a ton of money. Yeah, we'll sell the Iron Claymore, because why not? So whenever there's a battle on the roads, we will probably be most likely protected because there's so many people actually adventuring out on the roads now. Good thing I got like this mod where they, you know it adds extra followers and extra adventurers on all kinds of sword. Like this guy has a really cool looking armor and everything. Let's talk to him. Well met. Just a random guy named Nero Scipio? Let's ask about rumors. So the anvil break-ins were an inside job? The Fighters Guild took care of it? Good work. Yeah. Good work. Wait, that was our thing, right? The break-ins. Good day. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, because we uh figured out that the employees of the place were the ones breaking in. It looks like actually we got a little inn over here. Maybe a farm? Found Brianna Cross Inns. Ooh, whoa. Oh, that's kinda cool. That's kinda neat. We got a little inn. We can actually stop by and actually rest here. I, have, I don't think I've been actually here or, at all. We got a horse we could probably steal from under someone's nose. Uh, someone's nose. A little chestnut horse. We could probably take it. I mean, a horse is a horse, right? Some guard. Just what? What is a guard doing over there? Just walking out all the way here. Where's everybody going? Somebody's. It's like everybody's hustling and bustling and going somewhere. Sir, uh, do you need help with no? I don't even know where he is going. Let's talk to him. Let's have a conversation here. Uh, Hello. sir. Oh, ma oh, I'm sorry, madam. Can we can we not talk? Go ahead, please. Oh, uh, any rumors? I guess. It's still pretty wild east of the Nibbon. Few people, except for bandits, but at least it hasn't been picked clean by treasure hunters. Well, that's good. Treasure hunters that can be bad news sometimes. Be seeing you. Be seeing you too. See, people people on the roads for some reason treat Sarah better than people in the city. <laughs> and there are a lot more people on the roads than really in the city. That's that's kind of cool. We could probably make some friends out on the roads. You know, some friendly travelers that will travel together with us. So many people just traveling. I love it. It immediately changes the entire world. It's like everybody just out to travel to go to different cities and stuff. But for now, we're gonna stop by an inn and see what this inn has. Aside from very, very festive -ish music, it's a very nice atmosphere. Hi. What did I do? Go. God, this lady is already angry at me. I, d I haven't done anything. Enough talk. Sure, yeah. Suck to everybody here. Hello there. What do you want? Nothing. I'm just trying to get to know people. Good day. Good day to you too. Hello. Hi. What can I do for you? I wonder what this guy has. Bad room. Any rumors? Everyone's talking about the assassination, of course. Here, take my copy of the new Black Horse Courier. Oh, go ahead. Keep it. Assassination. I never actually read those things, so that'd be kind of cool. Uh, let's see if we can barter. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Can I interest you in some of some of uh, my wares? I got a uh, skooma. <laughs> uh, maybe you might want it. Uh, potion of healing. We we could probably sell the weak potion of healing. Eh, we might want to keep it just just in case. Potion of magical. We keep. I like that his face actually still moves while I'm like doing all this barter stuff. What do you have, by the way? Regarding weapons, armor, no. A lot of ale, lots of food. That's pretty good. Uh, any miscellaneous stuff? Not really. And yeah, let's end. Good day. Good day to you too. Let's go ahead and actually read the Black Horse Curry. I never actually took time to read this stuff ever. Special edition, the Emperor and Heirs Assassinated. Elder Council named as Regents. Emperor Uriel Septum, the seventh is dead at the age of 87, having ruled Tamriel for 65 years. He was killed by assassins unknown. At the same time, in separate locations, the late Emperor's three sons and heirs 
Crown Prince Gerdal, Gel Geldal, 56, Prince Edmund, 55, Prince Ebel, 53, were slain by other assassins. An investigation into the identity and motives of the assassins is underway, but the Elder Council, Imperial Guard, and Blades Guard have forbidden the publication of reports and rumors concerning the event until further notice. All right. Let's keep going down. By Asian precedent, the, Andrew, the Elder Council rules the Empire until a new Emperor is crowned. No direct heirs survived, and the Council has proposed no list of candidates. Chancellor Okado, Imperial Battle Mage, speaking for Elder Council, presented an appeal to the Empire citizens for calm and asked that the people rem remember the Emperor, his sons, and the Elder Council in their prayers. Emperor Uriel's early reign was marked by peace and prosperity. The Empress Kala Voria bore him three healthy sons, was a loving companion to the Emperor and a great favorite of the people. However, the Emperor and the Empire suffered terribly during the Imperial simulac Simulacrum? Simulacrum? I don't know how to... I honestly have no idea how to say that word. Every, somebody will teach me in comments. Uh, and please, if you actually know how to say it, please do. Uh, when he was held captive in oblivion, while the usurper Yagar Tharn assumed his appearance and ruled in his stead, Emperor Uriel was finally rescued and restored as the impostor defeated by the agency of the sorceress Rhea Silmane and her shadowy protege. But the affairs of the Empire were, the great, were in great disorder, and Empress Kaula Voria, exhausted by the ordeal, withdrew from public life. The decades found the restoration were once again peaceful and prosperous, but increasing political tension among, among the, uh, the petty states of Northwest, Tamriel uh, finally erupted in the wars of Iliac Bays, resulting in the establishment of the modern borders of Daggerfall, Sentinel, Warest, and Orsinium, and cumulating with the remarkable events associated with a warp in the West. A lot of the stuff I really don't get about lore. I'm not much of a lore buff when it comes to this game, but I'm, I'm learning more. I'm learning more than I ever uh, that. I, this is this feels like I'm reading a Wikipedia right now. <laughs> All right, uh, latter years have rain, blah blah. King Heseth. Uh, God, it's more lore, more lore. It's like, is this a news article or lore? <laughs> kind of feels like it's a lore piece. I mean, obviously this is going to be important, you know, for a lore bug because actually, you know, it tells you something. But as a news article, it doesn't tell me much. Oh, look at that! I love the clock in this place. It is currently one o'clock. All right. Well, it's still in the middle of the afternoon, so I believe we can still travel around here. Now, to steal the horse or not to steal the horse—that is the question. We took a horse. We took a horse. And we ride off into the sunset. That's exactly what happened. We just stole a horse without anybody knowing. Now, this horse is not going to be owned by us, I don't believe. But it will be important for us to travel to Chaden Hall. And we do have a long, long, long journey ahead of us. Looks like there's some kind of quarrel happening here. Maybe the guard is chasing somebody. Maybe the guard is chasing this horse. I wonder if the guard is actually chasing a horse. The guards in this game, for some reason, have a tendency to lose the horses. I don't know how or why, but they just do. I run a wolf and um, a guard is gonna be finding a wolf. Got it, but it feels so lively just seeing so many people all over the place. There's my <gasps> Maik, is that you? Maik? Maik? <gasps> it is Maik the liar. Maik knows much, tell some. Maik knows many things others do not. Really now, Maik? What about rumors? Feet are for walking, hands are for hitting. Or shaking, or waving, sometimes for clapping. Well, he did not lie this time, so I guess he's alright. Maik wishes you well. And I wish good you afternoon. well too, Maik. Oh, good afternoon, hello. Julian Bruti. <laughs> she just, for some reason, ran into a horse for some reason, just walked into a horse just trying to move it out of the way. I guess she wasn't happy with the horse being there. What do we got? God shot in, ooh. You know what? Part of me really wants to discover this place and actually, you know, explore this place and see what this place is all about. And part of me wants to continue on a perilous journey. Where are we on the map, by the way? We, look at that, we already are on horseback and we've traveled a pretty great distance. I mean, gra granted, this road is very curvy and stuff and we technically have not gotten far from Manville, but we have covered a decent amount of ground. And I mean, we've been raided on the road, people protected us, we're the, you know, the 
the populi protecting each other. <laughs> I think I mean it's people in Latin or something. Nevertheless, uh, if at least we can make it to skin grab, we can do something in skin grab for sure, you know? Maybe find more people that would love to see. Actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, we could check out the inn and see if there are any work for us to do at the inn. Let's go ahead and have the horse jump over here. And we'll just park the horse here. Hopefully the horse doesn't run away if we, you know, leave it here. And we can come back and remount it. I like the first person perspective. Really enjoy it. A chest has something. Not not something that's worth. A bed. That's kind of nice. So we can actually sleep over here, if anything. Let's um let's go ahead and jump over this. I don't want to leave the door open so the horse can get away. Um so let's go ahead and get inside the inn. Maybe I'm just saying, maybe we we can get into an inn and then we might find people that you know that actually require the work of a slayer. That'd be kind of cool, right? That'd be kind of neat. What do we got here? An Imperial Hello. Legion soldier. Hi. Go ahead, please. Uh, bad rumors. Rumors. It's still pretty wild east of the Nibbon. Few people, except for bandits. But at least it hasn't been picked clean by treasure hunters. Somebody also said that before. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? <laughs> the only thing I like about you is that you have a sweet roll on. You do. You are selling a sweet roll for only two gold. Sounds like a steal. I think I'll buy a sweet roll gladly. I wish I could Come give. Back and see me again. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Look at him. So nice. Uh, what can you Pay train me in? And you can learn a Mercantile. I don't want to spend up much. I'm. I'm sorry. Yeah. No. <laughs> you too. I wish we could give Imperial Legion soldiers sweet rolls and you know gain, gain favors with them. That'd be kind of cool. Let's go upstairs and see if maybe we can. You know, find people we can talk to, find people that can make a job for us. Nope, he only has beds and stuff. Okay. Somebody's rattling around. Not sure what it is, though. Alright. <laughs> oh, it's because it's raining, that's why. Damn it, horse. No, no, horse. Don't go out in public. Oh, there we go. Hidden mount. As long as nobody sees me mount the horse, I should be just fine, because then no guards will want to try to capture me. And guards will go brutal, I'm not even kidding. The guards will not be, give you mercy if you do end up, you know, committing the crime in front of them. Especially, like, I, I'd overhaul the guards a little bit so that if you accidentally strike them, they're not gonna go after you. But if you intentionally are trying to murder them, you know, they'll go after you. And they'll be suspicious of pretty much everybody who is doing something suspicious. And that guard is on the run. Oh, because there's a guy attacking, uh, being attacked by the wolf. There we go! This is what the capital pays for. This guy has a crossbow. Hello. Oh, I didn't mean to demount the horse. Damn it, nobody can see me. This is not good. Everybody can see me. Horse, horse, move away. I do not want to be seen when I mount you again. Or else people will get angry at me. Not even kidding. Horse, this is a... Horse, this is a serious business. Please, horse, over here. Oh god, I wish I could lure it in. Please, please, nobody see. Nobody see, please, nobody spot. Okay, good. <laughs> this is what happens when, you know, you gotta steal a horse, you gotta crouch around until nobody sees you, and then mount that horse so that, you know, nobody actually suspects you, they're like, oh, maybe he doesn't he doesn't actually own that horse. Kinda sucks, let's see, what do we gotta go here? Imperial City, Skingrad, Kavach, and well, I don't wanna go Kavach, I think I'm gonna continue this way to the Imperial City. Somebody's running away from the rain or something. What is going on here? The game, hopefully it didn't crash, oh, please don't crash. That'd be just the worst if it just crashed right about now. It's holding still. Oh, something's happening. Something happened? Probably something loaded. I'm not sure 100% what. But something's about to go down. <laughs> Hello. That's a red, random raid mage. Random traveler. Cool. I kind of like how there's a lot, you know, there's a lot more activity happening on the roads. Although it's, you know, it's, I mean, we haven't really gotten far. we riding around on a horse, just heading over to the next area to get the fighter skill jobs from, but... Still, it's a lot more lively than, you know, seeing empty roads, for sure. I mean, we've got random travelers being attacked by wolves and the Imperial Guard, you know, using the people's tax money properly and, you know, killing the all the dangers on the roads. Everything is going nice and smooth, and I kind of like it. I kind of like the progress that the, uh, I guess, everybody, everybody's pretty much falling in place. And I think we're under attack by something. I'm not sure, though. I'm trying to find the enemy. Can't see to find it. You know, we're just going to continue riding on. We can just continue riding into, well, towards the sunset. I don't really know where the sun is at. It's just, it's not a bit sunny. The weather in Oblivion, in my opinion, is just so cloudy. Maybe it's just, I don't know, maybe it's just the atmosphere of the place. I don't know. But I remember, it's, I know Skyrim is like a lot brighter. I don't know. I, I kind of like the difference, though. I like the difference. I feel like 
it kind of, you know, it defines the Oblivion itself. It, it's a little... It, at times, I mean, when it shines, it shines beautiful. When, it's, like, when the sun is out, it looks gorgeous and beautiful. Oh, we got a little deer just hanging out. When it's, like, like I said, when it shines, it's just absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. Like, when it's bright out and the sun is out, it is absolutely gorgeous and I love it. But when it's dark, it's, you know, when it's dark and gloomy, it's dark and gloomy. Is that, is that attacking me? Oh, she's abandoned. Oh, 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 please don't hit the horse, please. Let's have, the, let's have, let's deal with this, let's deal with the, let's deal with the quarrels. In, in peace, as best as possible. Oh, don't, don't even dare. Light armor is being drained, that's not good. Let's go and heal up. How dare you, how dare you attack Sarah. She wasn't, see, this girl was not even prepared. She was like, oh, I'll just attack a random adventurer. They might, you know, not have the ability to kill me. <laughs> wrong. And now we are encumbered. Are you serious? Because of the hammer? Really? I guess so. Uh, let's drop the iron war axe. Now that I know how to drop things, I feel a lot better about, you know, my ability to, you know, be better at this game. Okay, sneak. Okay, good. Hopefully nobody saw us. 